Hey boys and girls, today we're going to start with the coordinate plane. I know you've been using number lines for a few years, but today we're going to take our number line that looks, you know, horizontal and that looks vertical, and we're going to take them and we're going to combine them to create what is called a coordinate plane. So when you take a vertical and horizontal number lines, this is a coordinate plane. It has four what we call quadrants, and they go in the shape of a C. When you write a C, you start at the top, and you just make a curve, and that's the way it goes with counting the quadrants. You have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. I don't know why they always use Roman numerals. Four quadrants, you probably recognize that prefix quad meaning four. Four quadrants of a coordinate plane. They go in the shape of a C. If you were to draw a C, they would go in that shape. One, two, three, four. On our coordinate plane, we have these two number lines. We have the Y axis. And I like to draw my Y with a straight up and down tail. So that kind of reminds me, oh, straight up and down. And we have an X axis. When you, um, so the point where the two number lines join, where they intersect, that's point zero, zero, and that's also called the origin. You know we've been talking about the origin on our horizontal or vertical number lines. It's still called the origin when you have all four. When you plot a point on the coordinate plane, you will plot it as an ordered pair. Ordered pairs are in parentheses, and they will be in the form x comma y. This means our x coordinate is listed, comma, then our y coordinate is listed. So when you plot points, you need to always start at the origin. You need to look at the x coordinate, oh, two, oh, three, whatever it is, find it on the x axis, look at the um, y x, y coordinate, start from the origin and find it on the y axis. So let's try some of them. Here's a little worked example and really what we're going to be doing starting at the origin, I'm going to go left or right however many spaces and then I'm going to do up or down however many spaces. So our first point, our first ordered pair is 5, negative 5. Ordered pairs are always in the form x, comma, y. And they're always in parentheses. So my first ordered pair is 5, negative 5. So I start at the origin. My x coordinate is positive, and I know positive numbers go to the right of 0. My y coordinate is negative 5, and I know that negative numbers go down. So I'm going to go start at the origin, right 5 because it's positive, left 5 because it's negative. And I'm going to plot it negative 5, negative 5. Try to label that too. Our next coordinate, 3, 3. Seven, both positive numbers. So I start at the origin, that's positive to the right three. Y coordinate is positive, so I'm gonna go up seven. Three comma seven is that ordered pair. My next ordered pair is negative six. Start at the origin. Because the X coordinate is negative, it's gonna to go to the left. My Y coordinate is negative. So it's going to go down. 
negative two, negative six. And our last coordinate is negative two and a half, comma two. So I'm gonna start at my origin. Because my x coordinate is negative, I'm gonna to go to the left. And I have negative one, negative two, negative three. I do not have negative 2.5 on my grid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look really closely. And I know two and a half is halfway between two and three. So on the point, two and a half is gonna be halfway between two and three. Negative two and a half. The y coordinate is positive two. So I'm gonna go up two. Oh. I did not mean to plot that there. That's why you should always use a pencil. Negative two and a half, comma two. Okay. You have um, two assignments on Khan Academy, plotting points on a coordinate plane, um, the quadrants on a coordinate plane, and then you have one study island assignment called coordinate plane. There was our coordinate plane lesson.